Uh, get ready to do some polishing now. I've got these uh, cowls and the front fenders on both sides. Uh, wet sanded, started with 1K uh, and a block. And then I went to uh, 1500 on a DA, then 2000, 3000, and 5000. So get ready to start putting some uh, polishing compound down now. See what we got. Be real careful not to have any burn throughs, hopefully. Okay, but I got this side done. And it turned out pretty good. Nice and shiny, nice and smooth. See a good reflection there. The only uh, the only issue that I had, yeah, it looks nice. It's nice and smooth all the way through there. Definitely an improvement over just letting it be a painted surface, even though the clear laid down real nice. Uh, there's a little place right there. Can't see it probably from the video, but and they're right along this edge where I was wanting to be careful to not burn through that. So <clears throat> when I go to touch up polish the door, I'm gonna hit these areas again uh, anyway, uh, or I can at that time, because um, the door, uh, it won't hurt to, to polish that out again, which is kind of what I'm gonna do once, once all this is done. The hood I polished, but I've got some definite areas here that are gonna have to be readdressed that I didn't see the first time around. So um, it's an ever evolving project, but uh, these are just little details I can take care of along the way, but that's essentially what I'm going for right there. That's, that's a real nice look. Nice, nice reflection uh, from the light happening there. Of course, that looks muted right there because the light itself is. So, but these aren't back here. You can see them clear as a bell. So, all right, there you got it. Yeah. The, uh, get on the out. front one first. We get ready to put the door glass down in place and hope that we can get that wing window back in. All right, this one went in pretty painlessly. Um, we discovered what we need to do on the other side now. Um, basically, what we did is we put the wing window in set our seal in place all the way down, and then marked it uh, where the wing window comes, well, yeah, I gotta show it here. Where the wing window comes out, we marked it here so we knew how far the anti-rattle channel. Out. I think I'm, is there enough room? Okay. So we knew how far the anti-rattle channel had to come. And then uh, we were able to, we pried, we were able to pry and open up the, uh, the whole area well enough so that we could put the window in place and then put the uh, channel or the anti-rattle in place as well and pop them in without any problems. We didn't have any, any, any issues. Everything went in nicely. So we have to readdress the other side now. All right, we finally got it done. The, uh, this, this passenger side really gave us fits. So we had to wrestle around with it for a long time. We finally got it in there though. And uh, everything's, everything's working right. The only thing is this top edge of the well, it came all the way down that time, Claude. It stayed in the channel. It's when it gets close to the top, it wants to come out. But then right Right there, it goes back in, which is a good thing. That just means as long as we get that good seal up in there. If there's some, if there was some way to finesse the top of that door over without damaging it, I'd do it. But I'm just dubious of that. Yeah, I got. I just got a bunch of little touch-ups now, though, because like you can see the paint right in there. I just have to tape off and use a little brush and hit those areas with some red, so you don't see that garbage but among the other hundred touch-ups I have to do right <laughs> it's done finally glass is in <laughs> finally class, Claude, Claude's tired class dismissed class dismissed <laughs> see ya